Coach obviously coming off of this kind of a game with all of me, obviously just being across the right away and you guys coming off of a great week last week. What does this kind of a win say about the state of this program now and having guys sort of above 500 for the first time in a few weeks and where this program is now trending as it heads towards you know, these biggest series and seasons to come? I mean, I think, you know, great team win. You know, at the end of the day, everybody, a lot of guys contributed. Um, a lot of guys pitched in and did their part. Um, a lot of big moments, and you know, we, we got we got punched in the mouth and then knocked down, but but we bounced back. And to me, that's the that's the important part is they continue to grind and continue to battle. And um, you know, we do Grand Canyons. They're good, man. You know, they're scrappy. They're going to come in and, and give us all they got. And um, you know, we had them down there to the through through four, but but they were able to bounce back with. Big grand slam by Crenshaw, and um, you know, and they, they put us on our heels. So, but but our guys uh, locked in and battled, and, and were able to get some base runners there in the ninth and come up with a big hit. So, uh, didn't play great, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, the team rallied together, and that was what was important. Thank you, Jeff. You guys falling behind in these few last four games initially, and then being able to come back. Um, how have you seen this group develop its callus over this recent stretch? I mean, I don't. I, I think the great thing is, obviously, we don't like getting behind. But but the great thing is, we know that we can come back on anybody. And and if we get down, there's no quit, and we're going to keep coming back. Uh, so in order to, or tonight, the example, obviously getting the lead and then giving it up and then having to bounce back again, that's that's a sign of a good team to win late and, and be able to come back after you've given up the lead and respond to it. So um, you know, hopefully the the mindset and mentality seems to start taking like it's taking shape and these guys are just playing hard. So that's all we can ask for. How do you carry this kind of momentum and now five straight wins into playing against the number five team in the country on the road? Um, you know, I think it's uh, you know, the old adage, one game at a time, but as long as they continue, you know, playing with confidence and, and understanding that you don't have to be pretty, you don't have to be, everything doesn't have to go perfectly in order for you to win a game. You can win ugly and that's okay. Um, long as you keep grinding, keep battling and, and playing the, you know, playing hard, um, which these guys are doing. And that's kind of what I told them in there after this. It hey, wasn't pretty, but it's a W and you keep grinding, keep battling. It doesn't have to be pretty every night. Um, long as you continue playing, playing the game the right way and, came, and keep playing hard, that's, uh, that's what we're about, and good things happen when you do that. And what's the level of confidence uh, going into that series, considering a good amount of trusted bullpen arms had to get used tonight? Well, I mean, I think we didn't overtax anybody, so I think that was good. I think it works out in our favor that we got them on the mound, kept them sharp, but we didn't overtax anybody. Um, you know, Adam Barron's, I think, over, was the only guy to throw a number of pitches that, that might you know, not allow him to be available Friday. 50, 51 pitches. Everybody else was under under 25. So I mean, that's they got three days off before Friday. So everybody should be hot and ready to go on Friday. Talk about the approaches and big moments at times in this series. The last five games in over 450 with runners in scoring position. What do you feel has been the adjustment for this team to get big hits? Uh, confidence. You know, baseball's crazy like that. It gets uh, contagious. I think when. Somebody breaks the ice and finally comes through with a big hit, and then the weight comes off everyone's shoulders, and they just relax and go, go play and get back to being the confident group that they are. So they play better when they're confident, and, and that confidence is rolling right now. What is the confidence they necessarily have in the depth of this offense right now, considering the fact that you put out a lineup today that necessarily had a lot of guys who were necessarily going to be second or third on the short of quarterback positions, but then the seventh, eighth, and ninth, you play in maybe the regulars now in the pitching spots. Was that always the plan, or to put them in those positions? Well, I think uh, you know the plan going into the game, them starting a left-hander. I wanted to to get some guys in the lineup that, that we're going to need in the second half. Um, you know, Trey Newman hasn't played a ton, but we got to get him in some games. Um, you know, Lance has has been fighting for some playing time as of late. You know, with the way he's been swinging. Josiah Cromwell, and those are good players that we got to keep sharp somehow, and um, it's tough because every you know every game is is uh, you know kind of a must-win game, and it, it's tough to to take out some of your quote-unquote starters and and put these guys in. But the the facts are, 
um, we need to do that. I need to do that more often and shake things up, not only to keep them sharp, but also to remind our starters, hey, don't get too soft and complacent because these guys can these guys can take your job and, and play as well. So, um, you know, but I knew they were obviously going to start a left-hander and, and probably run a string of lefties at us. Um, and once they ran out of lefties, then we were going to put our left-handed hitters in and and against their right-handers. So, um, but the good news is that, or you know, the plan was kind of regardless of when they brought right-handers in throughout the game, I had pretty good left-handed hitters waiting on the bench uh, for that right situation. So I knew it was a matter of time before that happened and um, almost a little bit too late, but um, we were able to get it done. What do you say about Brandon's at bat in the ninth? I mean, is it, it being the ninth inning, you having obviously played before, but not like overpressing and just taking, you know, the pitches and drawing that walk? Yeah, I mean, I think it was big, a lot of big events, and that was just uh, another one. Um, 2 0 pitch. I, I can't wait to see where that one was because if that was down the middle, I'm like, man, that's your that's your moment to shine, big boy. You know, that's why you're in there. But uh, the facts are, he didn't let the moment get too big for him. He stayed within himself and worked a walk. And um, you know, Kian Vu come up, came up with a big hit there, and you know, a lot of a lot of good at bats. Mario Demera, another good solid at bat, worked a walk, and um, Harley C. Harris came up with a big knock there, but. Uh, a lot of great at bats throughout the night. Stephen and Dina um, made mention to him that you know, trying not trying to do too much. He started the rally in there in the third with the walk, and then again in the fourth with the walk, and not trying to do too much. A couple of good base running reads on his part too. So, you know, just little things like that continue to add little things up, and they equal a win. What's the outlook on uh, Thomas Burns being able to go on Friday after missing last week? Um, most likely not. Um, this weekend, so he's gonna he's gonna see another doctor tomorrow, um, and just kind of get a, kind of a third opinion on everything. I think, and, and everything looks structurally like it's fine. It's just uh, an irritated bicep tendon that needs to calm down, and um, but we're probably gonna do without him this weekend, unfortunately. Who are you looking at for Friday? Um, just come healthy, no yet. No, um, we just we were honestly trying to get through this game and see where we stood. Um, do like I said, uh, clearly I ran the kitchen sink out to try to win this game. Um, now we will see. I think everybody should be available. Um, we'll see what our best matchup looks like on Friday, um, and go from there. Just so. kind of, yeah, just kind of with the offense too. You get to the six-two lead and then a couple one-two-three innings, kind of back to back. How do you make sure the offense continues to be explosive and rely on itself and not kind of die out, kind of like you did at those middle innings? Yeah, I mean, that's the challenge, right? It is just continue to try to put together good at-bats. We had base runners in those innings, I think. Um, or maybe we didn't. I can't. There's a few of the one, two, threes. Kind yeah, of you know, those, just try to continue to put together good at-bats, you know, and that's that's how we um, you know, kind of start coming out of this thing was, was, hey, let's not worry about the results. Let's just worry about putting together good A-Bs. And, you know, they're not always going to happen. I mean, those guys are over there competing and have good stuff, too. So it's not always going to work the way you want it to, but as long as you keep riding after it, and hopefully at the end of the day, you have more good at-bats than not. It seems like there's a pass the baton mentality when these um, big innings are happening. Obviously, in the bottom of the third, the nine batters came to play. What are you seeing when that's kind of happening, where it's just everyone's getting a hit after another, and that's kind of moving like that? Well, I mean, uh, I think when you look at have any home runs again tonight but it's just guys not trying to do too much stay within themselves stay in low line drives in the middle of the field and you know take their walks when they need to um, not trying to swing out of the zone not try to do too much um, you know we're doing a much better job of laying off breaking pitches down um, which has kind of been an emphasis as of late so when you do that you get better pitches to hit and you take more walks so I think when you do that, you get more base runners and the line keeps moving and, and opportunities keep presenting themselves. So um, I've been pleased with that as of you know the last several games. He had talked about um, how he comes to the yard every day, expecting to get an AP. Um, just the mental preparedness as a group um, from points where there has been a lot of mental focus. Um, how have you seen with these new pinch hitters coming in into these situations being able to provide as far as just like before the game, leading into the week, practice, mental preparation as a whole, to be able to execute at any given moment? Well, I mean, it's tough to do. Um, but I think at the end of the day, those are the expectations. Um, regardless, you know, we 
I, I continue to preach to these guys, be ready for your opportunity, it's coming. Um, you know, day like today, we use better majority of the roster today, um, you know, in today's game. So it, everybody needs to stay ready and be ready at all times. And, and um, you know, Kean has all but mastered that, or at least from the mental aspect of being ready to go. Because um, he knows that he can be used in any outfield position, any pinch hitting moment, first base, pinch run. Um, he's just a, he's a weapon, you know, whether or not he's starting or not. He's, he's a weapon that we can use um, in a lot of different roles. Have you noticed more of a, um, I guess, team buy in to that aspect of everyone trying to play their part and not trying to do too much? Um, you know, I think. Uh, I think everybody, you know, I know everybody wants to play, um, and that's that's great. I want them to continue to want to play and have that mindset that they expect to play and want to play. But if they didn't want to play, then <laughs> we might have to find another spot for them. Uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day, there's a fine line between wanting to play and let that detract from the team concept, um, then and just buying into what we're doing and saying, yeah, whatever you need today. Um, so I think these guys have done a really good job, especially as of late, is just saying, okay, whatever my role is, I'm gonna do it the best I can today and um, worry about tomorrow, tomorrow.